So welcome to a pretty damp Tuesday at the beginning of October here in the UK. And many of you will know that I've just recently swapped my BMW R 1250 GS for a BMW R 1250 GS Adventure. And thanks for your advice and, and my research, um, I've actually fitted the Beaumont Defender Evo luggage system um, aluminium luggage system to it so left pannier right pannier and top box and you'll also know that I indulge myself um, in that luggage purchase by also buying the 58 litre Mahusiv uh, Jivy aluminium uh, Trekker Outback top box which I haven't fitted yet I have fitted the bracket but I haven't actually put the top box on there and, and physically ridden with the top box so effectively that's still brand new um, and you can reference that review up here in a card on the right hand side of the Beaumont system and the Jivy. You can also see in that review um, that I purchased some rubber protectors for the lids of the top box and the panniers on the Beaumont system. Uh, they were about, I think, £60 and I stumbled across them on eBay from a company called Rubber Precision Tech. Um, and those arrived and I've fitted those on and they're in that video as well at the tail end of that video on how to fit them. Subsequent to that, as with a few other YouTube channels, uh, I might add, uh, Peter from, from Rubber Tech, uh, Rubber Precision Tech, um, has actually been on to me and said, listen, I know you've got the, uh, the Jivy box, which hasn't got a protector on it. Could I send you a protector and ask you to fit that and, and we can use the fitting on our website? So I thought, well, I'll just put it on my channel as well and then they can run it directly from my channel. So I have received this free. I think it's quite important too to know that I did researched this initially and thought they were a damn good idea so I actually paid for the ones on my Beaumont, uh, my Beaumont system and I'm not being paid to do this other than uh, Peter has sent me very kindly the, the mat for, um, for my Jivy box and we'll see that being fitted in a moment. Uh, the product itself is a synthetic rubber. Um, you can perhaps see, or at least I hope you can see, um, it's got a dimpled finish and, and there's a few things that it does really. I mean, fr from my point of view, I just thought it would really protect the powder coating of the Beaumont lid because quite often you stand stuff on the lid and you know they can get dinged and damaged and boots can catch the panniers and stuff like that um, but also I felt that with the dimpled finish of them it would help when you want to put your glasses on there and your bikes on the side stand stuff always slides off so I think it also helps with that and certainly for the couple of thousand miles that I've done on the bike so far some of which was during a week's tour around the UK and pretty wet they've adhered very well uh, they uh, do do exactly what they what they say on the tin realistically to to, to stab somebody else's um, to stab somebody else's slogan. Um, they are precision cut, so so you know they're not exactly tight to these, but they are laser cut, so they're they're accurately to a pattern, um, and they fit very well. There are some keys to fitting them, which is what we'll hopefully show you in a moment to make sure that they do stay adhered. And certainly my ones on my Beaumont system are still perfectly adhered despite being damp on or wet on several occasions. So, so I think I can sort of semi vouch for them at the moment. I've certainly not done 10,000 miles on them. They are UV protected. Now, a lot of people in the UK won't realize the relevance of that particularly. But when you live in hot climes, like Australia particularly, are very um, uh, conscious of this, the United States, uh, UV can do things like it can crack things and it can discolour them and it can, it can make them brittle or it can make them soft or it can just do sort of weird things. So these are UV or, or the material is UV protected. Um, I'm led to believe from the instructions that come with the product that they're, they're designed for use, the adhesive certainly, and the product is designed for use from a temperature range of minus 49 to, to plus 110. Um, you're never going to reach those extremes, I think, pretty much in, in one go. Um, but they are durable and made for, for many, many months of riding. I think the other thing so far that's impressed me with the company, um, and I'll put a link to all of their websites and, and the eBay listings and all down below, but, but they have been very approachable. Um, they are looking to develop these products. At the moment, they're very simple. They're mats, they're laser cut, but they are interested in any feedback that people have. And I have given some feedback on the um, Evo 
pannier covers in particular and hopefully we'll be able to bring that to the channel shortly if um, if we can get those developed and I know as well that this product will be available shortly in many of the the recognizable um, outlets where you might buy your panniers from and, and you know we won't go on to naming these because it isn't really this isn't supposed to be a commercial um, it's supposed to be a product that I actually do believe in and, and a fitment video so the product is very very simple it's a mat it has a self-adhesive um, back to it which we'll show you being fitted a little later it does come with instructions but I think the key that I would say to fitting any of these things is you do get supplied and, and I know these are fairly large I haven't opened them yet but you do get supplied these wipes alcohol wipes um, and the instructions say to clean the panniers with the alcohol wipes in my experience if they're not new panniers or new top boxes my experience and my advice to you would be thoroughly clean them first in whatever way you would do it so you know maybe wash them or or with just some soap and water maybe try and avoid sort of wax polishes because you know you're giving extra work for these to do but I would certainly say get the things clean and tidy before you do it particularly at the edges um, and I think that's going to be key to any fitment that we do then we need to wipe it with the wipes you'll see all of this in a moment actually in, in action but then you know clean them with the wipes wipe them down but then don't touch them let the alcohol dry it'll dry almost as soon as you wipe it but you know my suggestion is always then unless you're using a very clean brand new microfiber cloth then I wouldn't even go over any of that again just just use the alcohol wipe that'll take any grease or oil or dirt off the surface and leave you with a, a surface ready to receive the adhesive so anyway let's get onto the table and see these being fitted Okay, so here is the uh, 58 litre Trekker, Givy Trekker Outback uh, top box. You'll notice before I fit this that it's actually embossed on the lid here. So I'm not expecting it to stick necessarily into all of these uh, uh, concave channels, but there is plenty to adhere to. This is proud, all of this is proud. The logo is proud, these square blocks here are proud. Um, and around here. So just to give you an idea, because you might not from the cameras be getting some idea of, of how this is. It is a brand new box, but as I've already said, you're best to give it a, a good clean off and a good wash. Don't apply any polishes or anything. I've got a, uh, it's actually not a new microfiber cloth. It's, it's a washed one uh, because I'm tight. I'm not really Scottish either. I'm sorry, no offence to anybody Scottish. Um, but I would, I would just give this a good wipe, particularly taking, taking care at the edges here, just to make sure, because the, the unit itself is going to fit right the way along these edges. So, you know, just make sure that you've gone really into detail up against these plastic edges and all along the edges of here. Um, now obviously this is a new box so I'm not expecting to be able to or to need to take too much care. Um, it has been in the shed so it will have gained a little bit of dust but for me now that's a clean box. You'll already have seen that we've been provided uh, with relatively large 70% um, alcohol wipes here. It can also be used for your coronavirus protection if you don't use them for this. Something I also like to do first is actually just check that the thing's right. Um, you know, once you start to pull the adhesive off, you're in a little bit of a state. So what I'd actually do here, I can see that it's very, very, you know, beautifully fitted lengthways, but it has a little bit of play back and forth, if you can actually see that at all on the camera here, just opening and closing. But these points here are, are very, very tight. So now I know that, um, you know, I'm gonna, gonna start at this end when I come to peel it off. But when I know that, I can make sure that I've got this area in place either side here, and that I've got this about 50-50 between that, and then she should just lay out dead flat like a carpet. So, we're going to take the alcohol wipes. I probably will only use one as it happens because I do know from my experience with my Boomot panniers that these are not like your little screen protector ones. These are quite big. There we go. Actually still not fully open. So there we go. It's a decent size. Um, and I'm just going to wipe that over. Now I'm going to pay particular attention along these edges because that's your real key is to make sure that you've got these edges 
totally clean and dirt and grease free because if any of those edges don't stick that's when you're going to get an ingress of water and dirt and grime um, and, you, and you'll find I'm sure then that, um, that they will start to lift no fault of the product so there we are that uh, once more, with the, the alcohol is drying pretty quickly as you would expect it to do, particularly 70% alcohol. It's, it's literally just. Uh... So that's why I say once you've gone over with the alcohol wipe, um, and there is a degree of grease on there, I, I wouldn't expect to go over that again with the microfiber cloth. She's perfectly ready now to receive the mat. So just laying the mat into position. As I say, I already know that it's a tight fit that way, not quite so tight that way. So I'm just going to get it about 50-50. And then what I'm going to do is release this end. So get the backing paper off from this end, like so. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. It's a little bit awkward to film and, and remove the backing paper. I'm going to make sure that I've got it all in one go like so. So hopefully you can get a, an idea of that. And now I'm going to make sure that those edges are tight in, like so, and about 50-50 here and here. So tight here, because I checked that before I actually moved it. And I'm confident that I can now get my microfiber cloth and give it a good shove right down at that leading edge, all in the corners, making sure everything is stuck. We'll have another go at it once we've actually done it. So now if I lift the mat, I've got the paper behind here. I can now just gently roll that back. The mat is gonna find its own level. It's not so much like fitting a screen protector that you can't have any bubbles, it's, it's quite heavy, so it's, it's dropping into place really. But I can confidently hold this edge because of course it's still got the protective paper on it. And then if I let that go, I'm now gradually removing the paper, like so. And we should find, when we get to this corner, that these, which we knew were tight, will happily drop in. Just a final push up, like so. And there she is, paper out. So, now we will just go over her, pushing down with some decent pressure all the way over. And then, all around the edges, just to make sure that everything, that's, that's the key really is, is you know, you almost can't push down hard enough on the outside. Um, because if you do get water or dirt ingress in there, then, you know, the adhesive is going to start to deteriorate. So there we are. That's the um, rubber mat that from, from panierprotectors.com fitted to the Trekker Outback 58 litre Givy box. Um, and I think you'll agree, it's a nice little product. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you feel like subscribing, it'd be great to have you along. If you've got any comments on these, then let me know. I'm sure they'll be very interested to look at those comments as well, because as I say, they're very proactive. We'll see you next time.